According to the latest figures from the Interior Ministry, more than 217,000 migrants have entered Croatia since mid-September. The government has set aside roughly 1.6 million euro for their care. All of them are processed at the Opatoj Center, after which they continue their journey via Slovenia. Preparations are underway to convert an abandoned facility in Slavonski Brod into a winter reception center. The current reception facility, a makeshift tent camp in Opatovac, is running at capacity and is not equipped for winter use. Some 12,600 refugees and migrants have crossed the Croatian Serbian border overnight and in the morning hours. Some 5,000 people are said to have walked over the so-called green border near the harmica rigonce border crossing. Some 1,000 refugees were stranded in the open near the Sutla River on the Serbian side of the border as the reception center was packed. The defense minister, Ante Kotromanovic, has said that unlike Slovenia, Croatia would not send its military to the border. Kotromanovic said that there was no reason to panic, stressing that not a single item went missing during the five weeks of the refugee crisis, despite the large numbers of people traveling over Croatian territory. The government has decided at its session today that it would seek international assistance to help Croatia cope with the influx of refugees and migrants. Among other things, the requests include winter tents, containers, heaters, beds, sleeping bags, rain jackets and rubber boots. So far, Croatia relied on its strategic reserves, but they are depleting fast. The State Electoral Commission yesterday officially published the list of 166 valid candidate slates for the November 8th parliamentary elections. As such, the official campaign has begun and will last until midnight on November 6th. And in sports, in the 25th game of the KHL Hockey League action, Medveshchuk played host to Avangard. An early lead by Avangard of one goal to nil was also the final result of the game. And Croatian national team player currently playing for Turkish Anadol Efes team, Dario Saric, has been named the world best basketball player not playing the NBA league. He was picked as the best by NBA league managers. And the weather, moderately to prevalently cloudy in most of the country, some rain possible in the south and at higher elevations. The northern Adriatic to see most of the sun. Moderate to strong and at times gale force bora along the seaside. See moderate to choppy, very choppy in places in the open. Top temperatures mostly between 9 and 14 degrees inland, 14 to 19 in the Istrian and Dalmatian hinterland, seemingly lower due to gusts of wind. Winds to weaken across the country by Saturday, particularly inland, with fog and low-lying clouds, some of them lingering until Sunday. In areas without fog, the afternoon temperatures may reach up to 15 degrees and more where there is sunshine. However, in areas with lingering fog, the temperatures will not go above 10 degrees. Expect chilly mornings. Settled along the Adriatic with some moderate and a time strong bora. However, the wind will weaken on Saturday and Sunday and it will be calm, which raises the possibility of mist and fog at sea.